Oh, you say, people. This is a uh, review on a 1973 Corvette Stingray. This is a C3 Corvette. I done did a C2 Corvette. This is a Restro Ma 2. It's uh, this color is my second favorite color. It's the bluish purple. And this is also Restro Mod, which means it's been modified. It has a 598 cubic inch V8 from General Motors, a crating engine. Originally had a 725 horsepower and 720 foot pound torque, but fuel injection has been added, so it's got even more horsepower now. It's, it does 222 miles per hour, a 0 to 62 in 4.4 seconds. Stopping distance from 62 to 0 at, at um, 107 feet. Price is $46,151. Safety is 26.5. Uh, trim warranty, bumper bumper warranty is 56.8 months. It's 16.3 miles per gallon. Okay, let's get into the build of the car. It's ladder chassis with fiberglass panel and steel material. Front longitudinal, double wishbone front and rear. It's a V8, as I said, aluminum block and head. A 4.6 on a bore, 4.5 on the stroke in inches. It's got 746 horsepower and 741 foot pound torque. Uh, engine warranty is 55.3 months. And it does have some engine stress. Um, plus 15 quality on all the engine parts. Yeah, I'm really thrilled about trying to keep the wheels from spinning with 746 horsepower but in just two wheel drive, I mean, just, you know, rear wheel drive. Forged steel, heavy on the crank, uh, connected rods is heavy duty forged. Pistons is lightweight forged. Compression ratio for 91 octane is 11.1 to 1. If it was like, if I ran like 87 octane, then it would probably be around five, uh, 730 horsepower or 725 horsepower um, cam profile 60 with VVT fuel injection multi-port uh, single configuration standard intake Super 93 octane actually I, you know I just Put a 91, like I said. 13 on the fuel mixture, 100 on ignition timing, 8200 RPM rev limiter. Race tubulars, a dual exhaust, 3.5 inches on diameter, high flow three way, straight through exhaust. Let's take a listen. It's a big old 9.8 liter. Yeah, it's a 7 speed manual rear wheel drive, Viscosius LSD. Um, rear end gear is a 339. It's pretty close to a 342. Sports compound tires and uh, 230 40 twenties on front and rear steel rims Carbon ceramic A one piston in the front vented disc 
Both pistons and rear 17 inch brakes, front and rear. 46 pad type. No skid tray. Uh, nothing special on the aerodynamics. I kind of don't know what this is. Hopefully it's good. Standard interior, basic infotainment, so it, the infotainment's been updated. It's two-seater. Hydraulic. Power steering with uh, traction control and ABS. Basic 2000s. On the safety. Standard twin tube, passive. Um, yeah. So let's uh, let's get to the scoring, shall we? You know, features is up to date. It's been modified, put new features in it. I give it a nine out of ten. Acceleration is very quick. I give it a seven out of ten. Safety is bad because of the fiberglass body. Uh, two out of ten. Uh, economy is three out of ten. It's not bad. It's pretty good actually for close to 750 horsepower. Engine warranty, I give it a 5 out of 10. Practicality, I give it a 1 out of 10. Trim liability, or trim warranty, the bumper bumper warranty, I give it a 7 out of 10. Value, value, I give it a 6 out of 10. Importance, I give it a 7 out of 10. It's a pretty important Corvette. Uh, fun factor, I give it a 10 out of 10. And a daily, or the, the total score is... So where's that? I'm looking through my camera trying to find it. 73 Corvette. It's fourth overall with 57 points out of 100. So fourth out of seven cars so far. Pretty good.